Hi there. My name is Chris Hesselbein. I'm the founder of Ignite Education, the site that we're currently looking at. Um, I've been writing a lot about gamification lately because I truly believe in the powers of gaming and how it can engage our learners. Uh, if you're interested in more information about leaderboards, best practices for badging, please check out some of my other posts like uh, Six Tricks for Shameless Leaderboards and Five Tips for Badging Done Right or just want some more information on gamification, please check out my site. Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually use a classroom XP calculator and leaderboard system that I have created. I just wanted to share it with you. So there's a whole post that walks you through it, but I thought a video might be nice. So uh, this is right from my XP calculator and leaderboard post. Uh, it will walk you through and uh, let's just get right to it. So step one is to create a Google form for the input of student experience points. So you're going to do that by using Google Forms. And it's really simple because all you have to do is create a text input field for each one of your students. So as you can see, I've just put in my class list and each student gets a text field. On this first one, uh, I've actually, if you've noticed, I've actually been using Avatar. So Leonardo, probably not an actual student in my class. But if I wanted some help text as to uh, which student matches which Avatar name, you can put the real student's name in the help text. So that won't show up on the leaderboard, but uh, it will show up on your form so that you can easily assign points. Anyway, once you're done with your form, uh, let's go to view live form. I would highly recommend that you take this link and you bookmark it on one of your mobile devices. That way you can input points from wherever you are. So uh, put it on your iPad or on your Nexus and you can bring this up and then you can just assign points uh, to any students that you feel are deserving. Of course they should have earned it. Uh, there you go, five points to snarf and submit. And all of this stuff goes right into our responses sheet, which if you're familiar with Google Forms, this is nothing new. So the neat thing about this is that each student now has their own column. But this makes it a little bit tricky to calculate because the form will keep adding rows as you submit. So what I've done is I've created an XP calculator sheet, which we'll need to copy into this sheet. Pretty easy. So right from the post in step two, it says uh, copy this classroom XP calculator and leaderboard. So I'll bring it up and this is going to be view only. So let's wait for it to load. I'd like to call your attention uh, to the fact that this is for new sheets, the new version of Google Sheets. You can tell because there's a little green check mark down here. And uh, so it won't work with the old sheets, but uh, if, you have, if you're using new sheets, it will. And all you have to do here is just select uh, the drop-down menu from the tab and click Copy To. Then just find in your drive wherever your leaderboard results are going, your responses, and click Select. It will copy the sheet, and let's open up that target workbook. It is putting it in there now, and there we go. We have our form responses tab, and we also have the calculator tab. And if it's all worked right, yes, it has. It has now pulled all of the student respond, all of the students' names. It has summed up their experience points. It's looked up their levels, uh, looked up their title. I'll show you how to adjust this. Um, in the green section, it has actually sorted them by total experience points by level, uh, also showing their title over here. If we go over to the purple, it's summed up everyone's experience points, which is great. And the yellow section is where you can actually change some of the, the settings of this. Um, I've just put in a sample structure for experience points, but this is where you can decide how many points it will take to get to the next level. You can also change uh, any of the titles. So if you don't like the titles, uh, maybe we can detective. How about that? So anybody in level two is now going to be called a detective. There we go. So uh, any titles that you want to associate with levels, you can just change it there. 
Notice that uh, my two charts are here. So the Classroom XP, I've just put this one in, and I've also put in a top 10 chart. Now you can use this information to make any charts that you want, but if you feel like you want to use mine, no problem. So it's great. We have a functioning leaderboard that has uh, it's summed and sorted all of my students. But how do I share this out? Should I share the spreadsheet? I think it'd probably be better to embed these charts in a site where students can easily see it and parents can easily see it anytime uh, they want to get to it. So what I've done here is just made a demo Google site and it's very easy to uh, throw charts into a Google site. So from a Google site, I click edit page, I click insert, from the insert menu I select chart. It's going to ask me where does the chart live and I'll select leaderboard demo responses and then I get to select which chart I want to embed. Class totals, save, and it'll embed. I'm just going to cursor down and I can embed another one. Insert, chart, this is where it lives and I'll insert that top 10 chart. There we go. I will save the page and this is the website. Now the cool thing about this is that this website will update upon form submit. So if I go back to my form and I submit another response, we were at 388 before, right? So uh, let's give 10 points here, 10 points there, 10 points here, 10 points there, and submit. If we go back to our site, it hasn't updated yet, but if I refresh the page, it updates. Changes all the ranks and updates the Classroom XP. Anyway, I hope this is very helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can look me up at IgniteEducation.com. And uh, yeah, good luck gamifying your classroom.